In 1835, Heinrich Lenz created this law that now bears his name. An electric current induced by a charging magnetic field will flow such that it will create its own magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field that created it. I've had this question come up over and over again and I want to put it to rest. Uh, a lot of the guys in the forum were getting ready to build some large box motors and it just keeps coming up. I got this buddy, he's a machinist. I want to build a big aluminum wheel. Bad idea. Let me show you something here. You can hear the RPMs of this motor. You can tell it's running pretty fast. What I have is just a piece of aluminum. I used it as a heat sink. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it right here so it's not touching the wheel. Now listen to what happens when I get it close. It's a fairly thin sheet of aluminum. This is Lynn's Law in effect. Not touching. You see what's happening? The magnets are inducing a current in the piece of aluminum. They're slowing the wheel down. It'll come to a complete stop if I let it. This is no joke. Aluminum is not a good material to build a wheel out of. You might say, well, you're not using it as the wheel, you're just using it as a brake. Well, the way the pulse motor works is when it pulses, it's beyond the, usually beyond the magnet. That means that the wheel has an electromagnet against it. And it's basically acting as a brake, even though it's an electromagnet. Here, I'm going to move this. Even though it's an electromagnet, it's still a magnet. And it's going to do the same thing. You don't want to use aluminum. It's got to be fairly close. And when you're talking about the wheel and the electromagnet, they are very close to each other. Now, using a piece of aluminum structurally that's a couple inches away is not really going to affect it. But making the wheel out of aluminum or putting an aluminum stud close to your wheel is going to kill the momentum of your wheel every time. I can't stress this enough. You, you go changing the recipe, you change the outcome. Build it first then change it. Then you have a baseline. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.